Maths is all around us. It's almost impossible to think of something that isn't made without the help of mathematics. Buildings, transport, technology, medicine, even clothes and food all rely on numbers, measurements and sums. We wouldn't know when our dinner was ready or even how old we are without maths because it's needed to measure time and dates. Our ancient ancestors didn't have clocks or watches, so they told the time using the sun and mathematics. As the sun moves across the sky, the shadows on the ground change. By inventing sundials, our ancestors were able to know roughly what time it was during the day. Over the years, more accurate clocks were invented, and using maths, days could be divided up into 24 hours, each hour into 60 minutes, and each minute into 60 seconds. By the 1800s, every town had its own clock, with a timekeeper who would set the clock by the sun at midday. But that meant that when it was 12 midday in one city, it would be 12.05 at another city nearby. Because of this confusion, one day in 1880, Sir Sanford Fleming missed his train. It annoyed him so much that he developed a standard time, so that the time would be the same all over a country. Using the lines of longitude, he divided the Earth into 24 hours, or time zones, each either one hour ahead or behind the one next to it. Most countries are small enough to fit inside one time zone, but some, like Russia or the United States, are so big that they have lots of them. Maths also helps us measure the movement of the Earth in years and days. A year is 365 days, the time it takes the Earth to revolve around the Sun once. Because this trip actually takes 365 and a quarter days, an extra day is added every four years on February 29th, giving us a leap year. While the Earth is whizzing around the Sun, it's also taking 24 hours to spin around on its axis, a day. When the part of the Earth that we're on is facing the Sun, it gets light and heat, giving us our daytime so it's night on the other side of the world. Because of gravity, time passes a teeny bit slower for our heads than for our feet, and an hour doing chores seems to pass much, much slower than an hour having fun. From knowing your age to telling the time, maths really is all around us.